awful, awful blend. Let's Thank you it. for having us. That's what makes it so good, though. Man. Right. Yeah, we, we're we, outside, bro. I was yeah, about to yeah, say, yeah, like, we, this we is part of the video footage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, we're filming, we're filming the video right now as we speak yeah. to the, um, it's not even really the next scene. It's, uh, you got to give people multiple visuals nowadays, right? Yeah. So we have impressions, the finally impression that we're going to film when we get to New York with SWV yep. in a few days. But while we're in Boston, the um, better video is being filmed right now. You know, nice. so the backdrop with the snow, like we couldn't have asked for a more perfect situation, actually. You know? Right, right. Yeah. So the new edition uh, miniseries, uh, again, the sneak screening has been moved to tomorrow. Yes. Uh, tonight's is postponed, but have you guys seen it yet? A little bit. Yeah, ah. been, yeah, we've just been seeing clips. Yeah, like, bits and pieces I haven't of. I've seen the whole thing all the way yeah, through. Together. Really? I yeah. saw it in Atlanta. You know. I yeah, he, oh, oh, this guy's seen Atlanta. it. Yeah, yeah, I stay in Atlanta. He saw the first yeah. night. Yeah. So, Ronnie yeah. saw the first Which night. Which is actually yeah. what we're going to see tomorrow. Exactly. So, right. Mero, so let's night. ask Ronnie. Okay. Ronnie, what did you think of the first night? Yeah, yes. it was uh, captivating. Yeah. Uh, you know? <laughs> Um, it was overwhelming, you know, I sat there like almost overwhelmed because we have this whole day full of press and all of these different things just talking about your life and, you know, the 33 plus years of history that we have, right? And then you're sitting down in front of it, you know, and all that went into it. So cap I was captivated sitting there like any other blockbuster film is taking you through all the emotions that you need to have for something to feel like wow I experienced like a one of my classics one of my top 10 of all time and it made me feel that way man you know how much were you involved as far as the filming of the movie very much involved we are uh, well we're all co-producers on okay. the film um, we help pick out the cast you know all the actors mm -hmm. the young guys that play us and the older guys and the you know in our adult years um, we were on sh on set basically almost every day of filming, um, yeah. we did a 30-day boot camp with the guys, teaching them the choreography, hanging out with them, so they could pick up our personalities and so on and so forth. And um, we didn't realize, because we've been doing, you know, what we do for over 30 years, when we were teaching these guys the choreography. We didn't realize how intricate it was. Right. It's like people will do the move. It's second nature to you. Yeah, but it's yeah. like, okay, now nah, your fingers, you gotta. <laughs> it involves the fingers and the way yeah. you point it, your, your foot is pointed. So it's it's all of the details like yeah. that. But what um what I admired the most was while we were on set, so in between takes, we'll go down and give the guys a few pointers here and there. But then after a while, we could just sit back and just watch them and just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know, and almost forget that we were watching people play us yeah. in the movie. So they did, man. I just want to give a shout out to those guys, man. They did an amazing job. They worked overtime, man. And they, were, they just put so much passion into it and I just feel very proud and grateful you know for people to see this now what about as far as your personalities was there anything where you pull a guy aside and say nah see, yeah. like in that oh, situation yeah. Yeah. I would have yeah. been more yeah. angry yeah. you know what I'm saying yo it was a crazy <laughs> scene where me and Bob were actually there and we were coaching you know our our our, our actors yeah our actors Kate and Woody right so we almost you know it was just funny man like Bob <laughs> wanted his man to come with the aggression that he needed and I'm like, yo, Keith, you don't bow down in this situation, son. Like, you got to think guerrilla tactics. You going up against Bob. So it was just crazy like that at various and, moments. And I was on up the in the set, stands, you know? cracking the hell up. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I was just laughing. I was yeah. like, good. I was there early. I was tired. Right. And when they came, I was like, you know what? It's make so real. Yeah. Because we really was talking to him like, like there's this fight scene. So you're yeah, telling right. your man, yo, you know, throw that blow. Yeah. <laughs> or you're going to get hit. Yeah. It's going to exactly. be on camera and I'm going to be mad at you. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. So get yours in. And the, what, the thing I was going to say is for our city, Romero, championship, sports, football, basketball, hockey, baseball, <clears throat> new kids, Al Smith, this, that, and the third. Everything we've been through. This is something else that's going to go down in history for the city. Mm -hmm. It's coming from Roxbury. It's coming from where we're from, the roots, the projects of Orchard Park and Cathedral Projects. But the way they put it together, it don't look cheap. Right. You feel me? You're not mm -hmm. going to look at this and say, okay, you know, a couple of cameras and friends. No. Mean, mean crew. Hell of a director, Chris Robinson. Yeah. Broke a producer. Jesse Collins that does all of the BET's award show. It looks crispy. And it's in your chest. And I think if everyone tuned in like Ron and Rick is saying, I think we'll have some crazy ratings 
which would be another championship for the city. I love it. I can't wait for it. It's going to happen again on BET the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th. Yes. And then immediately after that, ah, yeah. three stripes. Three stripes at midnight will be released. And somebody somewhere is going to get a viewing party slash performance. Yes. Yes. Right. Pitches. Yeah, we gotta come back and make that announcement. Like we 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 visited in a couple locations, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> tomorrow to solidify it. But we'll come back at some point, I'm sure, you know, top of next week to make that announcement. Yes. I love it. Now let's uh introduce the song that pretty much put BBD on the map, Poison. Yeah. This was it. Now what made you say this is the song that we're gonna release so that everyone Ooh. knows that we're something separate? Ooh. from New Edition. I'm going to get that one to Ron. Ron is yes, I'm going I'm to say, like, from day one, you know, I love the song, right? But I think one of the things that solidified, solidified it was us being up top, East Coast, New York City, Hank Shockley and the Bomb Squad, right. you know. Um, when they put the mix on that joint, you know, it just solidified the record, not only for myself, but for Mike and Rick. And it yes. was like, yo... You know, this is the one that has to go. This yeah. is the one that has to go. So, right. yeah. And so, shouts to Cool G Rap. Yeah. Yes. Cool G Rap. We sampled yeah. his voice. Right. Poison and Spider-Man. It was in the video. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No doubt. So, one love, man. This is go. it. This is the monster. Woo! Standing the test of this time. This is a Blizzard song. Let's right? go. Turn this it up. This is a 969 monster. Turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> 